Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm reviewing Lego Seasonal set number 854050, Snowman and Reindeer Duo. This set comes with 126 pieces and it retails for $9.99 in the US. And this is part of a new line of seasonal, like fully buildable ornaments that Legos just started actually in August. So we're going to start out with the snowman here. Again, this set is a lot like the um, pumpkin and bat duo that Lego released for Halloween that I also recently reviewed. I kind of like this um, this set a little bit better, I think, actually. It is a little bit more boring, but I just think this concept works a lot better for Christmas. So you can see that the way that these are built is that they're basically just cubes with like studs on all sides. And then you kind of just paste like different curved pieces to give it that nice curved look. On the front, it uses stickers for the face and an orange cone for the carrot nose. I think that looks great. Um, again, I said in my previous review, these stickers are a bit different quality. When LEGO has little sets like this, um, you know, like with their magnet sets as well, the stickers are kind of like harder to peel up and they don't stick down as well. So that's kind of annoying, honestly. I wish that they would put just regular stickers in these sets. Don't know why there's that difference. On the top, he's wearing a little hat, and then that connects to this string, which you can use to hang this ornament from a Christmas tree. Now, this string, as I also said in my previous review, it is different than most LEGO string. I don't really love it because I honestly would have preferred just like regular plain black LEGO string. This stuff is really thick. Um, it frays really easily at the edges. Um, actually, when I was retying this, it was fraying a lot. And it's just... I just don't like it compared to other Lego string. It's really weird and it's not what I'm used to. So yeah, it's pretty much it for this guy. And here is the reindeer. This one is a little bit more unique because it's got some different things going on with its head because you've got the antlers over there. Other than that, it's pretty much built in the same way, just with different curved pieces. The face has many more stickers. You can kind of see where I had to peel it up to realign it. And again, it just doesn't stick down as well. I think these stickers are just thicker than usual, um, so it is kind of awkward. Also, when I was peeling the stickers up off the page, um, it was actually taking the paper with it and not like just the sticky part, which was also irritating. But I really like the face on this one. I like the dark tan fur that it's got around the brown like back of the sticker. And then you've got a little mouth there. I think that's really cute as well. Um, you've got some more detailing up here. Again, just more detail than the snowman had basically around the back it's pretty much the same forgot to show you guys the bottoms of these but they're just these four by four plates and then it's got the same deal with the string to hang it now again i do like this one a little bit better than the snowman and i didn't have as many problems with the string but i still would have preferred lego to have like normal string with these sets there are no extra pieces for this set so here's the box these boxes are, like, pretty unique. Lego doesn't do boxes like this most of the time. I really like the shape of this one. You know, I think it's trying to be, like, a Christmas tree a little bit. You've got the stars along the side. On the back, you do have that really nice print of a Christmas tree. And then you've just got this tag off to the side that has the set and then just, you know, all the legal information that you need. Um, I kind of like that they put it on a tag because then it just leaves the box as, like, something, like, really pretty to look at on its own. The instruction manuals for this set are just the polybag style pamphlets, although these are printed on much thicker paper than usual, but there's no advertisements of any kind on either of them. You just get the instructions for building the, the ornaments. So that about wraps up this review. Again, I do kind of like this new ornament style that LEGO is doing, but I do have like some minor problems with it that just kind of drags it down. One with the stickers, um, obviously you can't always apply a sticker perfectly on the first try. And so like with these, if you have to peel it up to reapply it, it's really irritating that they like don't stay down. Also, again, the string, um, I don't love the string. It's like too thick and frays too easily. But I do prefer this set over the pumpkin and bat duo one just because, I mean, this makes so much more sense. Like Christmas ornaments to hang on a Christmas tree makes a lot more sense than Halloween ornaments. So I do like that. And again, considering that the ornaments Lego has done in the past have been like, you know, they've been like Lego builds in like clear plastic shells. You don't get to build that yourself. So I do like that these are like build it yourself ornaments. And I'm kind of surprised it took Lego so long to actually start like properly making these. For $10, I don't think it's a bad deal. But um, again, it kind of just depends on what you want. I think it's pretty decent, like these two ornaments for $10. But if you're not going to hang these on your tree, then I don't really think it's worth getting.
So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my new website, goldenninja3000.com. Bye for now.